Oh, and a big step for women's safety with the Chief Minister there, Revant Reddy, uh, launching T-Safe, uh, India's first ride monitoring service aimed at making travel safer for women, children and the vulnerable. So now the service is an initiative uh, while travelling, women travellers can request the police to monitor their real-time ride information at any given time, especially while travelling at night. For the first time in the country, Telangana police have introduced a service that will allow for monitoring of rides. I have with me additional DGP of Telangana police, Shikha Goyal. Uh, the Women's Safety Wing has developed this. What exactly is this? I understand that there have been apps in the past, SOS apps. Now you are saying even if you don't have a smartphone, you can feel safe while riding in the city. Yeah, basically, you know, uh, this is a service which we are offering of ride monitoring, uh, which is uh, irrespective of the type of phone you carry. So even if you have a basic phone, all you need to do is dial 100 and we provide an op option of dial pressing 8 on the IVR. If you do that and your ride gets monitored. The important thing is that we will be tracking in the sense taking your live locations to the LBS servers immediately and we will be knowing where you are going. We have created scenarios uh, you know so that if you don't need to actually go to an SOS button. So if for example your destination changes or you stop for a very long at some point, you are not responding to our uh, verification calls then automatically the police response starts. So one is about uh, dialing 100 and going with the IVR 8. Uh, otherwise you are saying there is an app also that you can download on your phone or you can go into the women's uh, safety wing website and go to the T-safe option. How do you monitor this? You, you were telling me that without using uh, human resource, you have actually automated a lot of these operations. Yeah. First of all, uh, like you don't need to download an app in advance. It's a light app. So we can send the link through the SMS as soon as you want and you can download it at the spot itself. Secondly, 90 to 95 percent of this uh, uh, operation of this entire se sequence is technology based. So, uh, you know, our system actually takes up all the scenarios and it's only when an emergency arises that the human intervention will start. So, uh, entire thing is technology driven. So, uh, what happens? Every 15 minutes you are uh, asking them to send back a self-generated uh, four digit number, is it? So, what we do is that every 15 minutes a message, a call, depending on the type of phone, suppose you are uh, you dialed 100 and you have a normal phone, a basic phone, then you get a call and you are asked to just press the four digit secret code which is there and tell us that you are safe. Uh, if you have done through the app, then you only have to press, uh, you know, the, uh, the number and then we know that you are safe. So that is how. And if you don't answer for uh, twice, then an automated uh, response works. So, and different scenarios, as I said. Uh, in the so what is the time uh, that you are giving to the person uh, in an emergency? I mean, emergency means minutes actually, but first is 15 minutes and then what happens? So if you don't respond in the first, for the first call in 15 minutes, then the next call goes within 2 to 3 minutes. We don't want to wait for 15 more minutes. Next 2 to 3 minutes, you will get another call. And if the, those two calls are not answered, then immediately the emergency response gets triggered. So emergency response means uh, a police team on the ground is able to track you and come to you and uh, perhaps be of help. Yeah. One thing uh, which is innovative is in this is that till now... If